Well, well, well. Here's Mama Bloom's brood. Mama is away. Papa hasn't come home from business, which leaves the two girls, Sarah and Yetta, to themselves in a discussion about a most important subject. Where's Ma? She's over at Mrs. Fine's. What's she doing? Oh, playing bridge, I guess. That's what she said she was going to do. She goes over there every night Papa works, doesn't she? Uh-huh. Is Papa going to pick her up? Well, uh-uh, she won't let him. She says she got there by herself and she can get back by herself. Believe me, when I get married, my husband will call for me. Well, when I get married, my husband will send the chauffeur for me. What dress did she wear? Her new black one. I bet she didn't. She's saving that for someone's funeral. Oh, she wore it all right. That's the only decent thing she has. Well, I'm going to take a look. I told you. She went out in that old gray dress. Believe me, if I had a new dress, I wouldn't let it hang up at home. I'd put it on. I need a new dress. You need one. Say, I haven't had a new dress for years. Why, you just got that blue one just two weeks ago. Oh, that old rag. I hate it. I've got to have a new dress for Saturday night. So do I. You don't think I'm going to that party without a new dress? It's terrible. I'm ashamed to look anybody in the face. And that smart aleck, Ella Markowitz, always has something new. Oh, you just don't like her because she looks at your Sydney. Well, I wouldn't blame him a bit if he looked back at her. Well, not that he does, but... Well, the way Paul makes me dress is enough to make any fellow look at another girl. Well, talking about it won't do any good. I know that. I'm going to ask Papa when he comes in. I'm going to tell him that I absolutely have to have a dress. He'll holler murder. I don't care. I'm going to ask him anyhow. Maybe we better wait until Ma comes home and let her ask him. Oh, I can do it as well as she can. Well, ask for me too, will you? Sure. I'll just tell him that we simply have to have it. And if he gives us an argument, we'll tell him a thing or two. Hey, we better not do that. Now, let's be diplomatic about it. Oh, sure, we'll be diplomatic, but we'll ask him just the same. I'll bet we'll get it, too, if we just act firm about it. If he comes home first, we'll ask him right away. But if Ma gets home first, we'll wait until we get him alone. Why? Well, if we wait until the two of them are together, we've got twice as much work. Each one of them will think of some reason why we shouldn't have it. And if there's only one of them, why, there's just half as many reasons. Maybe you're right. Of course I'm right. And you know how Mama always sides in with Papa. Like last week when you wanted to use the car when you and Sydney were going to the AZA dance. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, dear. It'll be just our luck to have Mama come in first and spoil everything. Well, if she does, I'll take her into her room and get her to sew on a button. What button? <laughs> well, I don't know. I've got plenty of buttons that have to be sewed on. <gasps> There's somebody. It's Papa. Uh, do you still think tonight's a good time? Sure. Oh, now, Sarah, don't back out. Who, me? Say, I want that dress as much as you do. And for goodness sake, if he calls you yet, don't start that Yvette business. That always makes him sore. All right. Hello, Papa. Hi, ah, Papa. Hello, yet. Hello, Sarah. Mama home yet? No, she, she still has a bridge party. Bridge, 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 bridge. That's all I ever hear from Mama nowadays. In the old country, we use the bridge to cross the river. Here, it makes a man a widower before his time. <laughs> Here's my paper. Here it is, Papa, on the sofa. Mm, good. 
You see my slippers? Oh, I'll get them for no, you. Let me get never them. Never mind, never mind. I'll get them myself. I'm no cripple. Just tell me where they are. But, Papa, we want to get them for you. What? You've been working all day. You must be tired. You just sit down in the big chair. Yeah, that's right, Papa. You just sit down and, and I'll get you a... Let me see. I'll, I'll get you a cigar. Yes. My paper, my slippers, my cigar. What's the matter? You girls sick? No, Papa. We're not sick. We never felt better in our lives. Right, Papa? Thank you. Hmm. Everybody's so nice. What's the reason? Nothing. Can't we do something nice for you without you getting suspicious? We just want you to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's too good to be true. I know something is up. Did you maybe do something you shouldn't do? Now, Papa, of course not. Yeah. Well, well maybe I was wrong. Papa? Mm. Papa, <laughs> how was business today? Business? <laughs> Business was today like business was yesterday. Customers came in, some of them bought, some of them didn't buy. I don't see how any of them keep from buying. I think you make the finest knee pants in the world. <laughs> Sarah, the world is a big place. And if they need anything, I, they have to buy it. I, I always say if you need something, you, you need it. Yeah, and, and if, you, if you absolutely have to have something, well, there's no use waiting. No, you, you might as well get it sooner or later. Children, I agree with you 100% completely. Everything you've said is true. And now, if you'll please let me alone for a few minutes, I'll read my paper. Oh. Papa. Yes? Papa. What do you want from me? Papa, uh, Sally and I are going to a party Saturday night. I we... know, I know. Don't tell me. You want to use the car. All right, all right. Use it. And now, please, please let me read. No, we don't want to use the car, Papa. But you see, uh... Well, that is, well, everybody's going to be there, and we thought that, well, we'd like to, uh, well, sister thinks so, too. Sister thinks? Sister thinks what? Well, it's like oh, this. Oh, tell him. Yeah, it's coming out now. No, 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 no. What do you want? Well, I want a new dress. So do I. Well, we have to have them. Positively, Pa. Is that so? Yeah. Well, if you absolutely have to have them, I'm sorry for you. Two weeks ago, I brought you each two new dresses. They're one of those. Oh, I don't like them. I don't either. Two weeks ago, you liked them. Oh, we wore them so much, we're sick of them. What do you think I am? Made of money. Every week, it's new dresses, new dresses, but new I dresses. But I tell you, we have to have them. If we don't get them, we won't go to the party. Hmm, you're scaring me. All right, if you don't want to go, then you don't have to go to the party. But, Papa... I want to read my paper. Will you please be quiet? They won't be very expensive. You're absolutely right. They won't cost a cent because I'm not going to get them. And now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me, I'm going into the other room and read my paper. And if you don't want to go out Saturday and what you've got, you stay home. But whatever you say to me, it makes absolutely no difference. Once and for all and finally, no new dresses. Oh. Well, I'm not going. He thinks I'm going to run around looking like a scarecrow. We've got another thing coming. Let's ask Mama. Oh, what good will it do? You know Mama. She never does anything without asking him first. I guess it's off then. And I think Papa's the meanest thing. Who's the meanest thing? Ma, oh, gee. Hey, you scared me, Mama. I didn't hear you come in. Why, oh, I'm so full from food, I can't make a sound. <laughs> Honestly, it was just like a party. Everything fixed up still. Napkins with monoplanes on them. Monoplanes? Yeah, initials. Oh, you mean monograms. Monograms, what's the difference? Everything was so refined there. Just like our family came over in the sunflower. Mayflower, Mama. All right, Mayflower, what do I care? And we played bridge with new cards, just like in the moving pictures. And one of the ladies smoked a cigarette. Ma, why didn't you wear your new dress? What difference did it make what dress I wore? She didn't invite my dress. Besides, it's too fancy, and I hate those shiny silks. My napkin always slips off of it. Eh? What's the matter? You don't give Mama a kiss? And besides, to Papi, you calling a mean thing? Huh? Didn't they teach you in school to have disrespect for your parents? Well, I think Papa is a mean thing. Twenty-one years I lived with your Papa, and he was all right. Three hours I leave him alone with you, and now he's a mean thing. What's he mean about? Ha, huh. the automobile, I'll bet you. Automobiles cause all the trouble. I'm sorry they was invented. Oh, it isn't the automobile. Papa won't get any new dresses. Your Papi in a dress? That's something I'd like to see myself. No, Ma. We're going to the party Saturday night at Minabel Horowitz's. And we need a new dress. We've got to have it. So you'll ask your papa and he'll get it for you. We did ask him and he said no. 
When we asked him again, he went out of the room. It's terrible. All right, all right, I'll ask him. You'll get our new dress. Don't worry. Oh, it's no use, Ma. He's just made up his mind. Jake. Mm, what is it, Mama? You come in here, Jake. You'll read in here. I can't come in there. Those girls are driving me crazy. Who pays any attention to them? Do they know what they're saying? Two weeks ago, I brought them each new dresses from Kaplan's wholesale place. And now they want more dresses. Believe me, they won't get them. Of course they don't get them. What are you getting excited about? Remember your liver? Don't remind me about that. I feel bad enough already. All right, Papa. Don't get excited. Excited, excited. How can I help it? And those two girls of yours keep worrying me about new dresses. All right, all right, Jake. They won't bother you no more. Sit down and read your paper. My paper, my paper. How can I read my paper with all these arguments going on around me? You'll be having no more arguments. Everything will be pieces and quiet. Yeah. Now sit down in the big chair and read. Go ahead. Uh, Jake, mm. how was business today? Business? Business from you, too. All right, Papa, I won't ask you any more about it. I don't know how come I should get such a family. The family's all right. Yeah, those two girls Never are mind the girls, Jake. They won't worry you no more. Didn't I say it? But, Mama, you said you... You two girls don't have to show off the way Ella Markovich does. Besides, their father's a big manufacturer. Your papa's just got a small place. What's that? You're talking like a fool. I did more business in July than Markovich did in June and July. And August, thrown in. And better business, too, I'll bet you. Yeah, you bet your life. <laughs> I'll tell you something. We got accounts he can't even show samples to. Now, you see, girls, your own dresses are good enough. What do we care what anyone thinks? Papa can't afford it. Remember, Papa's got two girls to dress. Old man Markovich has only got one. Is that so? I can afford to dress two girls better than he can afford to dress one. Just the same, that Markovich is our slick fella. He dresses his girl up like a Polish wedding, and everybody thinks that by him business is good. Papa can't do that. I can do it if I want to. Who's going to tell me I can't dress up my own daughter? But, Jake, you don't want to. Who says I don't want to? Listen, Mama, if they're going to a party Saturday night, and I want, they should have new dresses. Who's to tell me my own business? Mama, you take them down tomorrow morning early to Rubens and get them each a new dress. And get them a coat, too. Markovich, that muzzler. <laughs> I could buy him and sell him. And don't argue with me anymore. I'm going to bed. Good night. Be careful with your teeth, Jake. They cost $400. Oh, Mama, you're wonderful. Mm -hmm. So you see, every day you get smarter. If you ever want anybody to do nothing, all you got to do is tell them not to do it. Remember that old maximum. A horse you can lead with water, but if you want flies, you got to use honey. It's wonderful the way you and Papa get along. You always have your way. Listen, darling. In the important things, I let your Papa be boss. What do you call important things? I don't know. Since we've been married, nothing important has come up. Mm -hmm.